Welcome to our eSolutions video tutorial about requirements for JIRA or R4J. Today, we'll show you how to generate a structure in your project. Suppose the following example scenario. You are the requirements manager for the fitness tracker product, Fitness for You or F4Y. A project has dozens of features and hundreds of technical requirements. You would not want to throw them all into one basket. Therefore, requirement structuring is essential. Humans tend to structure content for easier capturing, review, and collaboration. Your organization benefits from suitable requirement structuring. Within JIRA, you have very limited capabilities to define a structure and keep the overview. A big advantage of R4J is that it lets you easily build the requirement structures that best fit your needs. You should define your initial hierarchical requirement structures before you actually start your first project. First of all, you have to open your R4J project in JIRA. Navigate to the Requirements menu and select your project. If it is not visible in the drop-down or under View All Projects, please contact your JIRA administrator to activate your project in R4J. As this project is not structured yet, you get an empty tree view on the left side. Your marketing managers have decided to structure the requirements into three top-level folders. Goals, Context and Constraints, Business and User Requirements, and System Requirements. Open the context menu of the project name in the tree view and select Create Folder. Now, enter Goals, Context, and Constraints. Optionally, you can add a formatted description. To add more folders, mark the Create Another checkbox before clicking Create. Follow up for the other folders in the same way. With the context menu, you can create subfolders using the same method. Finally, you get the desired folder structure in the tree view. The content is also visible in the right side, which is the reading view. The numbering of the folders can be disabled or enabled in the settings menu on the far right side. As you have the initial structure defined, it's time to add requirements. You do this again with the context menu of the respective folder. Select Create Issue to add any kind of Jira issue type. In our case, it's a customer requirement called Track Movement. The fields provided depend on your JIRA configuration. In the same way, you can also create children of parent issues. Using the Create Other checkbox, your result could look like this. Depending on the size of your tree, you may want to collapse or expand folders. You can do this using the context menu too. Somehow, the requirements in the System Requirements folder are not mapped to the correct folders. Just left-click on the misplaced item and drag and drop them to the right location. You can also do this with multiple items by pressing on the Shift key during multiple selection. This works for Jira issues and for folders seamlessly. And that's about it! Thanks to R4J's simple options, you are now able to create your own structure within Jira. Simply use the context menu in the tree view to set up new folder structures of any level, add child and subchild issues of any JIRA issue type, or drag and drop them around to rework the order they show up. Please stay tuned for more video guides about requirements for JIRA. If you have any suggestions on what tutorials we should do next, just comment below. For in-depth information, get in touch with your contact persons at eSolutions. We will be glad to provide you with expert guidance and best practices.